Hello, this is Space News with Julia. United Launch Alliance remains confident that its Vulcan Centaur rocket will make its first launch this year, while Blue Origin is pushing back the first flight of its new Glenn vehicle. During a panel at the Satellite 2022 conference, Tori Bruna, chief executive of ULA, said that he expected the first launch of the Vulcan later this year, but didn't offer a more specific schedule. This schedule is driven by the completion of testing of the BE-4 engine that powers the first stage of Vulcan and delivery of the first flight's units from Blue Origin. Bruno said he expected to receive the first two flight models of the BE-4 in the middle of the year and added that testing of the engine is also going well, including firing of the engine three times a week on a sustained basis. So Bruno firmly closed the door on any consideration of Aerojet Rockendyne AR-1 engine for Vulcan. Doing so would require major changes to the design of Vulcan, as AR-1 uses kerosene fuel rather than methane. As a reminder, Vulcan Centaur is a two-stage two-orbit heavy-lift launch vehicle that is under development by the United Launch Alliance since 2014. The maiden flight is slated to launch Astrobotic Technologies Peregrine Lunar Lander for NASA's Commercial Lunar Payload Service Program. While Vulcan remains publicly on schedule for a first launch in 2022, Jared Jones, Vice President of New Glenn at Blue Origin, ruled out any chance that New Glenn will launch before the end of this year. He said the company is in the process of setting a new date for their first launch. New Glenn is a heavy-lift two-stage orbital rocket in development by Blue Origin since 2012. Its first stage will be powered by seven BE-4 engines that are also being designed and manufactured by Blue Origin. For that moment, Blue Origin has completed design reviews and is now in qualification tests of New Glenn, including the booster, forward structure and payload fairing. And now Blue Origin has to balance New Glenn development with completion of the BE-4, which will be used by both New Glenn and Vulcan. This was Space Daily News with Julia. Stay tuned with me and don't forget to subscribe.